Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this PAC video short, we're going to cover the instructional activity spec of MCD, Modular Curriculum Development, of the PAC processes for training and development. PAC is an acronym. It stands for Performance-Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder Driven, Training and Development of Any Blend. Previously, we've covered the learning objectives from the lesson map as they cascade down into the instructional activity specification. Also, the content from the performance model and the knowledge and skill matrices eventually resides at this level of design, at the activity spec, the instructional activity specification. This activity spec would be given to the developers to bring clarity to exactly what they are to produce. And the lesson map and the event map help them understand the full context of what's being developed should there be more than one developer involved. If you're going to have a divide and conquer approach to development, then the design has to provide that kind of clarity and I help the developers understand the flow of content. If I'm developing instructional activity number 17, I really need to know what's come prior to instructional activity number 17. I need to understand what the learner has already experienced at an awareness, knowledge, or skill development level. This is all part of the data logic of the PAC processes. Each instructional activity would find itself in a file system, if you will, part of the enterprise content architecture that is the five-tier module and lesson and instructional activity inventory scheme. Either this instructional activity would go into the tier one organizational orientations, into the tier two performance orientations, into the tier three enabling knowledge and skills, or into tier four or five, which are the performance how-tos, which are either shared or unique for a target audience. Facilitating reuse in the PAC processes can be done sometimes at the event level or at the lesson level, but most often at the instructional activity level. And when we talk about reuse, we're talking about reuse as is, or after modification. Modifying something that already exists can be quicker, cheaper, and better than starting from scratch and reinventing the wheels, or in this case, reinventing instruction that already exists that might be fine if just tweaked. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.